A new movement in Southern California to help the homeless. Churches opening their parking lots at night and providing a safe place for people to sleep inside their cars. But as our Stacy Butler found out tonight in Fullerton, not everyone supports that idea. Stacy. Well, Susie, the parish priest here says this is the perfect parking lot for the homeless to get a safe night's sleep. That's because right over here you've got businesses separated by a new locked chain link fence here on the church property. And if you walk with me this way, you can see the church is right here separate and the other side is a neighborhood. And that is where the problem comes. We are believers. We do see everybody as ultimately a child of God. You know, if not us, who? It's a question that haunts Father Dennis Crid so much. He wants his Fullerton Church parking lot to lead the safe parking program in Orange County. If we don't care, uh, this 20 years from now could really bite us. If the program is approved, the homeless will be able to park their cars in the St. Philip Benizi Church from 6 p.m. to 7 a.m. The Illumination Foundation will provide security and services. The goal? Get them out of the parking lot and into proper housing and mental help in 15 days. Both of the major agencies here, Mercy House and Pathways to Hope, are, just, are, are simply swamped. One of the people sleeping here on our grounds has been on a list for two years. Father Dennis has the blessing of the diocese, but his own parishioners and neighbors are torn. I'm all for helping people who actually want to get out of the situation that they're in, but there aren't any guarantees that that's the population that's going to be coming here. I worry that can my kids come out here and play? Can they, uh, can they be unattended or do I have to be out here every day with them? I understand that they need help and, that, and that's something. And if it can be done where it's not going to take away from my property value, for instance, or um, cause issues in our whole neighborhood. Now, the goal is to have 20 cars parked here so the homeless can spend the night. Uh, but this plan is still awaiting final approval by the city.